Welcome back. We have Laurie Marchand joining us here today from Western Canada Theatre. What a pleasure to have you back on the oh, show thank today. You, thank it's you, great Susan. to see you look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you are uh, here today because we're talking about the Mayor's Gala of the Arts. Not until 2017, but there is a timeline involved if you want to nominate either uh, an artist or a business that supports the arts. And that deadline, I believe, is the end of this month. It is. It's coming. It's hard to believe. It's I hard know. to believe that we're already talking about the end of September. But um, the uh, Mayor's Gala for the Arts, uh, this is a, a wonderful event that supports all three major arts organizations in the city, Western Canada Theatre, Camelot Symphony, and Camelot Art Gallery. So it's a really uh, wonderful and important event. The highlight, one of the highlights, is of course the nomination process to give out the Mayor's Awards for the Arts. And uh, this year we have the three categories again. Um, thanks to the uh, Canvas Arts Council, we have the Emerging Artist Award that will actually receive like a $500 um, uh, award, a cash award, uh, as well as the business in support of the arts are the two standing categories. And then this year, we thought we'd try to keep it simple <laughs> mm -hmm. and have just called it the Performing Artist of the Year. And so, of course, anyone who um, falls into that category, be they uh, theater, music, dance, anything that might be considered performing arts, uh, that nomination is open to them. That's really fantastic. Great opportunity to give somebody some exposure if you think it's deserved and somebody's working really hard to make their name out there. Um, I'm assuming it's quite hard, though, then, to choose the winners out of all of this, too. Oh, I know. I, I have not been uh, on that committee, and I'm, I'm a little bit thankful yeah, <laughs> because yeah. the, uh, you know, the caliber of artists in this community, and it is a regional, it is a regional acknowledgement, so, mm -hmm. you know, there have been a some astounding winners uh, in the past, in you know, including you know, the wonderful Alan Corbishley and um, last year's emerging artist Kelsey Gilker has done some wonderful work with Western Canada Theatre, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I note that Eric Petullo, who was one of the nominees last year for emerging artist, just won a YVR uh, Artist Award. That's awesome. So our artists are being recognized not only here but uh, absolutely provincially and nationally as well. And of course, we have to keep in mind this is a great fundraiser supporting the arts, things like Western Canada Theatre, where right now, of course, you have your first production of the season underway at Pavilion, Made in Italy. Uh, and I got to interview the uh, main actor for that, fantastic guy, Ferran Timoteo. Uh, so, you know, it's important to have these fundraisers to allow us to continue what we do and what you do. It's, it's absolutely critical to our existence. You know, we are so lucky in this community to have these organizations. And, uh, you know, they, as I say, they, they are recognized uh, not only within our community, but really provincially and nationally for mm -hmm. the caliber of the work that we do here, all three. Awesome. Uh, that's pretty extraordinary. It is. Lori, we're out of time. I really appreciate you being here today for the gentle nudge and reminder to people to get their nominations in. So thank you very much. My pleasure, Susan, yeah. as always. Uh, you're very welcome. Uh, information on the uh, screen, if you would like to nominate someone, mayorsgalaforthearts.com. We are back after a quick break. Stay with us.